Hey, what's going on everybody? Callie Storm Doll here, your favorite toy collector. Now you know we want to go into the reboot of Monster High, but some fans are calling out Mattel for giving the Monster High reboot dolls the same package and style as Cave Club. Now if we go through, we have Draculaura, Frankie, um, Claudine, Frankie, and we have all the girls coming out, right? So as we look this over, we can see that the packaging style is different. They are now coming with cans of sodas and slices of pizza. Now, if I remember properly from the past, they used to come with purses and pets. Correct me if I'm wrong. But now it seems like the girls really want to munch and want to crunch as Claudine comes with a bag of chips and it looks like some type of moon palette. I don't understand it. Let's see what Frankie's coming with. Frankie's coming with some type of juice soda. It looks like a headband cell phone. Once again, juice. Hmm. Now, I am noticing that because we know with the Cave Club, like in this one, she comes with a slice of cake, a face mask, and a flower. And they're comparing this um, Fernessa doll with the Claudine doll. Now, if you look them over, you can see that Claudine is coming with some accessories that somewhat compare to Cave Club. Now, what we can break this down and really see, we're going to read what they wrote, but if we break this down, we can see that Mattel is currently still trying to go for that younger demographic. A lot of us have been posing thoughts and theories in the past saying that maybe they'll come up with the spooky theme that they were originally had. No, 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 no. We already know that the next generation of girls will not have anything to do with the freaky cool vibes that the past had. So going into what this is saying, it's saying, okay, it's giving Cave Club. I'm sticking with the Wave 1 basics personally because these all kind of feel plain and uninspired. Compared to the one the OGs did with Dead Tire, I'm excited to see Twyla though. She was always my homegirl because she has my name. So this is Sabrina Twyla. Sabrina wrote a lot and to sum up most of it is basically saying that some of the looks that G3 are given aren't really expiring the girls and I have to say she brings a point to the table. This variation of Monster High dolls are definitely giving now 22, you know, these girls are feeling it, but it also gives that these girls are following trends. I know what some of you be thinking, you know, don't all do dolls do that? Well, Monster High had a little thing in the past for those of you who don't know we can look over some of the dolls from the older series one thing about monster high is that they always stuck with originality okay like look at these this was before this new wave but it kind of showed each girl had their own different theme now this is the reboot this is series one one girl is cupid one girl is a vampire one girl is a were cat but each one of them represented something different. Right now, what this new gen is giving me, and you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, it's giving me these girls are monsters who's trying to fit in with the more current theme. Not to say that they all still don't have the individual style they do. Clearly Frankenstein, Claudine, Frankie, you can see what they're given. They give different looks <laughs> somewhat. <laughs> But it kind of looks like these girls are stepping more into the trends of now versus having their own themes. Comment below. I won't chew your head off. But I just wanted to let you guys know the word on the street is fans are noticing the more slim, slim, simplistic packaging. I had to get that word out. Slimplistic. Yes. Packaging <laughs> with these accessories. And they just are not impressed. Let me know what you guys are thinking. Are you still looking forward to the Monster High? reboot dolls only time will tell what they're giving stay locked to the channel and i'll keep you posted on what's going on in these dolly streets